Oh, well, let's count them for time remit? Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, Alright. Uh, three, two, one, go. Good luck, my dude. Thanks. Alright, so... I'm... Well, Joe, what should we do in a quick and dirty record answer run? Um, so basically this is just a rhythm roguelike. All you really do is basically like standard dungeon crawling. That happens to be to the beat of a metronome basically. So uh, what I'm going to basically be doing is trying to uh, pick out a few really good items to help you go a bit faster and just finish all of the five zones and their bosses as fast as possible. Um, so basically the way this game works as far as speedrunning is like some of the levels have quirks in their generation so like for this zone i'll be heading like down right most of the time because that's only where the exit is or i'll be heading through like secret rooms since normally like there'll be a secret room between where you start and the boss so we just made it to the first boss which is death metal nice boss to get um Cause of, just because of the fast tempo and because it's pretty straightforward. And I didn't mention it earlier, but the uh, the weapon I have now, the axe that I got on the first level, is really, really nice. And that ring is really nice too. The ring will basically give me a heart back on each floor, which means there's a very. The chance of me dying is not as much because I have that ring, which is good for a marathon. So, the gimmick with Zone 2s, which is this zone um, level generation, is it's kind of like perpendicular where you start. So, like, it's normally like between the walls from where you start. So, like, on this one, it's probably left or right, basically. And it's left this time, and you can tell because things are moving, like, over there. But yeah, the axe is really nice. Basically, it's like a lunge into things and kind of like light them out in a broad sweep. So this is second boss, and I guess I should mention the, in like true roguelike fashion, the bosses are randomly picked out of like a bucket. So the second boss won't always be King Kong, and the first boss isn't always Death Metal. But for right now, these are the bosses I happen to get for this seed. Basically, if you're familiar with other roguelikes like Binding of Isaac, it's kind of the same idea where it's not always the same. Uh, boss or like level generation each time you play. I will check that because this shop might be Conjurer. It's a shitty shop. I don't really want any of those shrines. Shrines are basically kind of like uh, one-time use items that sometimes give you items or like an effect or some sort of benefit. But all of those shrines kind of suck so I didn't really want to use them. Zone 3's level pattern is basically to just like kind of screw you and just be random garbage. So like these ones are actually pretty good so far. But they could like, you could, it's really easy to get lost on zone 3. I don't want the Gi. The Gi there will basically double your damage, but you'll also take double damage. So it's really risky and not something I want to pick up for this run. I'll just finish off the pawns here. Oh, this was Deep Blues, by the way. It's basically a pun on, like, the famous uh, computer, Deep Blue. And the song is a blues song, so, haha. Alright, so Zone 4 basically kind of is this nasty technical mess of a bunch of enemies with really weird movement patterns and attacks. It's like the Blade Masters here, you kind of like hit them and they parry you. Or they parry off of your hit and then you have to like finish them after they repost. And the Warlocks over there, like the little hooded guys on the top there, he'll basically... He'll teleport to it once you kill it.
arenas here, basically they present you with like three items and then you could, if you choose to take one, you have to fight like a couple enemies to actually leave the room. Or you could just like leave the room without taking anything. But I wanted that item because it's really good. So just the food shop. So basically if you do like that uh, simple kill, you could just basically normally get a lot of free health relatively easily. Which is great when you want to keep your marathon runs really safe. I have the boots here which basically nullify certain hazard tiles like water and uh, hot coals and other stuff. They nullify the goo here, which is really nice since the goo could make dying really easy. It basically like prevents you from attacking and it doubles all incoming damage. So having the boots here helps out a lot. And the little thing floating around is basically the ice elemental I picked up earlier, which just freezes things when it contacts them. I want to use the goblin to open that for the potion. Potion's basically like a normal, like, one-up. Like, it's a free one-up. If you happen to die.